Hello and welcome to Adulting Done Right. My name is Ginger. Kevin. And this is the Nug. We are uploading every day in September. So we thought we'd do some fun series during the month to kind of switch things up and keep it interesting. So we are going to do date night in. So this is actually inspired by Buzzfeed. I wanna say they have a couple that does their night in, night out. We aren't gonna do the night out part, we're just gonna do the night in part. And we're going to cook things together that, I don't know if they're things that we've never made. This one is something that we've never made before. This is something that I've never made before. I say I don't know about the others just because I've cooked quite a bit, I would say and there's not much that I haven't made. But everything, everything's probably new for me. Everything's new for him. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we are making mushroom ravioli, homemade mushroom ravioli, homemade gluten-free mushroom ravioli. I am gluten-free um, and I have not had ravioli in a long time. I don't remember when the last time I had ravioli was. So today we're making it and we're making a version that I can eat. So I'm super excited about that. We're adding a gluten-free flour mixture to the stand mixer, because I'm not trying to do this by hand. So this is the beginning of the dough. That's one cup. I actually should have used, watch. There we go. So we're gonna start with one and two thirds. So in the bowl, I'm just making a well. Let's see. This is what Kevin's dealing with. <laughs> he just wants to touch everything. He just wants to touch everything. And we need a pinch of salt. Could you pass me the salt from over there? Thank you. getting better. So we're waiting for it to form a ball, but I don't think there's enough moisture in the dough. And that might in part be because we're doing a gluten-free recipe, or well, a gluten-free version of a non-gluten-free recipe. So we may have to tweak things as we go. Everything has come together in a ball. And that's what we wanted. So now we let it mix for like 10 minutes. This is the result we got for the gluten-free dough at this point. Mm -hmm. She is going to basically put, I believe this whole pot. I'm actually gonna take this out. Or just the dough. Just the dough. Put it on some bisqueen right here. Thing film, this queen, saran wrap. Saran wrap. Whatever. It's probably more of a uh, food. Yep. <laughs> a cooking term. Yeah. Where would you get the this queen from? Construction. I mean, I know that. I'm for you guys. <laughs> okay, and this is gonna go in the fridge for 30 minutes. Bam. Mm -hmm. See he. <laughs> hey Siri. So I've chopped an onion, Kevin is washing some mushrooms. you're gonna be going inside the ravioli. I 
I am melting some butter with some oil in a pan. Got a movie going in the background. So if you hear something, that might be what it is. I've gained a nugget. We are sauteing the onions while Kevin cooks, or chops, I'm sorry, not cooks, the mushrooms. All right, so here's an update. We've gotten, all the mushrooms are in there, they're cooking. The dough is ready to be rolled out. And he's gone crazy. <laughs> So this is the end result thus far. So you can tell the ones that I have done because they tend to not be as pretty and as skillfully done. Here we are sauteing some more mushrooms and boiling some water right now. She's going to get some wine. We have put butter, olive oil, in this right now we're just letting it break down and caramelize so we have sauteed the mushrooms she has put water wine. one third of water one third of wine all in there with a few tablespoons of butter um, milk and now has reduced it down to a nice creamy sauce on a low heat. She's added some salt and pepper for flavor. We have cleaned up a bit, poured ourselves some wine. Have not, have we tried this one before? No, this is a new one. Flirty Bird. Yeah, this one's from Aldi, so it's a super cheap wine. So we'll see how this. I just dropped some ravioli in there. And mm -hmm. now she has added them to the sauce. Once they float. Once they have floated in this pan. So these are the gluten-free mushroom raviolis and a mushroom cream sauce. So we're done. And now all it's left to do is try it. Mm-hmm. It looks good. Very, very hot. Tastes really good though. Mm. Yeah. The filling is really good. Mm -hmm. I think the filling is my favorite part. Yeah. I think the dough, because it's gluten free and it's like a rice dough, might need to be cooked a little bit longer than you would typically cook like a ravioli. Because right now they're kind of like al dente, which is still good. I would totally make this again. So Kevin was not as big a fan of making these as I was. It goes back to skill level. If you're not comfortable dealing with uh, dough, mm -hmm. which I am not, um, it's a little bit more difficult. Plus the sizes that I want to make them at don't really jive with the dough. No, he wanted to overfill the ravioli. So, Again. Which, that would be the biggest tip is don't overfill the ravioli. I'll link the recipe on the description below. So that way if you guys want to try it, you can. This one's gluten free. Um, there were a few tweaks that I had to make, but if you don't want to make it gluten free, you don't have to. Next time we do night in though, what do you want to see us make? I have an idea of what we'll make. If you guys like this though, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see us do more of these, definitely let us know. If you want to see more of these videos and what we're uploading every day in the month of September, 
then definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that way you can see whenever we upload new videos. Mm -hmm. Until next time, guys. Bye. Uh -huh.